All right, fishy folks, while here in Ottawa, Canada, I decided to stop at Big Al's Aquarium Super Centers. They spelled centers wrong, they spelled it Canadian, but whatever. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, it is a super center, it's quite big. Lots of food when you first walk in, frozen. And tropical. That's the stuff from Poland that Lisa at Super Cichlid sells. Check out supercichlids.com if you're interested in buying it. I was told it's great stuff. Then you come to the Canadian food section, the North Fin, and Nutrifin Bug Bites, which is Fuvo in the United States. If it's not too much of a problem, I may try to take some home, but I hear getting things across the border is can be difficult. There's a big bag of food. Ah, oh, New Life Spectrum. Got some meds, Ickex. But no, no real meds, I guess. No EM erythromycin. Can you get erythromycin in Canada? Nope. Nope. Not allowed. Not allowed. All right. Let's see what else we got. Lots of great looking tanks. <clears throat> Lots of dry goods, heaters, CO2. Clearly this is the plant section, plant section. Lots of tanks. Try to stay away from customers because they may or may not want to be on camera. A little goldfish tank. You can't keep this many goldfish in a tank. Stop it. Oh look, it's being done. Let's take a look at Python section. Not the snake. And some very cool decorations if you wanted, if you're into that kind of stuff. Lots of tanks in stock. That's a pretty cool looking little tank. Huh. Huh. Big pieces of wood, lots of reptile stuff. Oh. $160 Canadian for a 65 gallon tank. So in US, that's like what? $120 ish? Uh, yeah, lock off about 20 cents per hundred. So yeah. Yeah. How much is this little tank? This is cool. 12 gallon. It's probably. No, that can't be. Is that $35? That's not terrible. Terrible. LED lights, hoods, reptile stuff, more wood, more wood, more reptile stuff, which some of you may be interested in, just not me. All right, let's go into the fish room. Let's take a look at this tank, though, with these cardinals, big size cardinals. Yep. Nice looking tank. Clearly they like flourish. <laughs> <laughs> the filters. Take a look at some bettas. We saw a really cool betta right here. Dumbo layer looks pretty nice. Little drip system, better than most places. All right, so quick look around. Africans, Puckos, Tetras, Mollies, Platy, Swords. All kinds of stuff. Here's their plants. I know if I don't go down the cichlid aisle, you guys are gonna talk bad about me, so I'll try to stop it. Cool stuff, but you know I don't know anything about them, so. That's a plecos. This apparently it's the pleco side. This is the, oh, the, the Africa ones. Oh, oh. I have to look over here. Look. Look, catfish. Sino Donis catfish. They're kind of cool. I don't know anything about them. Look, cichlids. Technically cichlids. <laughs> They're cichlids, South American though, at least I know that. All right, really cool cichlids. Really cool cichlids. Really, more really cool cichlids. I know you like them, I don't, sorry. I could probably get into them if I wanted, right? I would, I would 
I could get excited. Yeah. That looks like a guppy. Yeah, well, there's two of them. In One the guppy. Why is there two in there? Oh, there's two guppies. And some panda quarries. Is that Splinter? No, that's um. I can't remember the name of the character. That one. From Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Splinter's the bad guy. That's uh, Master. Oh, that is Splinter. Shredder is the bad one. I was right. Big Al's weekly special. Two for three dollars. Okay. Chinese algae eater. Ooh, rhino plecos. Not bad prices from the US. Those are kind of cool. Whip tails. Whip tails. Okay. Wait, I gotta show you more cichlids. Look, African cichlids. Big ones. All right, you've gotten your fill. Go on to Angels, because I like Angels. Eh, some of these are cool. Some of them have some blue in them, but their fins are kind of jacked up. All right. What's this aisle? Tetras, I think. Tetras, yay. I don't care either. <laughs> but I'll show you some. Look. These are considered large neon tetras. Okay. <laughs> Green tiger barbs are kind of cool looking, but are they as much of an a-hole as regular tiger barbs? Uh, I find tiger barbs pretty straightforward and easy, so oh. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Yeah. I just, I just think tiger barbs in general can be kind of aggressive. No, you just need a large number one. How, define large. Uh, I'd say probably around 10 or more. Eh, that's not too large. Then no, they're usually just, you know, a-holes with themselves. Oh, okay. And they leave everybody else alone. Female bettas, those are kind of nice. Clown tails. All right, let's look for fish that I like. Because, you know, it's all about me. Lots of plants, not too bad looking. No. Eventually, little baby angels, little tiny, oh, medium tetras, not tiny like I thought. All right, this is the live bearer section, so we're getting close. Red wags, red swords, more platies, big platies. Yeah, that looks so bad. Neon, neon sword tails? Mine look, mine look better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got some struggling fish in here. Okay, all right. Are these all on one system? No, they're all on different axes. That's not bad, at least. Variatus platies. Yeah, uh, they run them off of uh, power-headed undergravels. Undergravel filters. That's just something you see every day. Oaks. Uggs under gravel. So lots of platies. Yeah, small. Mm. Interesting. Uh, different. Yeah, yeah, different. That's a good word. Yeah, nothing super. Oh, I see some guppies. This tank is dark, hard to see. Black mollies. Snow white layer tail mollies. I have some. Actually, I have two. That's some um, two. But yours aren't hovering near the surface, though. Nope. That's a good point. Why is that? Good question. Uh, Molly's, 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 Molly's. Oh. 24 karat gold layer tail Molly's, all sold out. Must be a gold rush here. Look, guppies. <laughs> Red cobra guppies. Yeah. Uh, oh, blue metallic guppies. Now I know why 
Yeah. Oh, I have these too. What do they call them? German sunset guppies. These are on my website. Actually, you go to my website and use promo code SPRING18 for 18% off your entire purchase. For a limited time, folks, www.michaelsfishroom.com. Dragon tails. I have these too. Mine are nicer. Mine are more jade heads, though. That's what I call them. Jade heads. You make up a name for a guppy just like people do for uh, for discus and stuff. And it makes money. That's a kind of cool guppy right there with the scissor tail. Oh, sorry. More guppies. I find that the names for fish these days is like going into a paint chip store and, <laughs> and trying to get colors. It is sunset peacock blue turquoise. Okay. Meanwhile, it's just blue. <laughs> Golden dusk platy. Tiger platy? I have something similar. I call mine pink panda platies because I like trying to say that fast. What do we got on this side? Endlers, albino guppies, kind of, kind of average at best. I know I'm probably being mean or honest, however you want to say. Yeah. Goldfish. How do you say it? A sparkling rims. Guarmi, guarmi. I can never say it right. <laughs> Why is there no water movement? Probably because they think they're anabandons and they just breathe from the surface. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just jammed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guarmi, 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 guarmi. I didn't see any like rams. Do they have any like rams or epistos, South American uh, stuff? Yeah, that's what we're <laughs> Oh, there's another side. Let's go to the other side, shall we? Mixed Oscars. They look so unhappy. Grumpy. Your Oscars are good, good. Yeah. Han and Leia. <laughs> That's one thing I've never done. Name fish. I don't normally name fish either, but my sons do. Ah, there you go. But I named Han and Leia. Ah, you must have named Bruce. I did name Bruce too. Look, a shark. That's kind of cool, folks. What kind of shark is it? Yeah, it looks like a white tip. White tip? White tip. Very nice shark. Alright. No. Goldfish? Koi? Alright, what do we got over here? Daniels, mystery snails, crawfish, long fin Daniels. <sighs> Loaches, Daniels, hmm. rainbows. Cribs. more rainbows. That's for you, Mr. Steenfot. You rainbow guy, you. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. What's over here? Snails. Snails and little fishies. I like rams. Nice tank too. Hmm. All right. Looks like we're coming to the end, which is good because my arm is tired. <laughs> Feeder guppies. Yeah, nothing to see there. Pea puffers, five bucks each. Let's we'll just leave it at that. 
Oh. Let's look at the black beard algae. Look, look, black beard algae. Okay. Now I showed it off. Are you happy? Yes. Very okay. happy. All right, fishy folks. There's a little shrimp. Red crystal shrimp. And then a big section of reptiles. And then a big section of koi. And feeder fish down below. I always smell these shrimp really kind of cool. Which ones? The vamp are they vampire shrimp? Yeah, they call them flower shrimp. They have, they are the, uh, feeder, the filter feeder shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little butter, a little garlic. It's good eating. No. So here's the koi. These are kind of cool. I'm not a koi guy, but these are kind of cool. Black and white. All right, fishy folks. I think that's about it for the Big Ass Superstore Fish Room Tour. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the website, Michael's Fish Room at or michaelsfishroom.com